Okay, so I forgot one basic thing. Um, Asterisk itself is a program and it has to be running uh, on your computer. A couple ways to start it you could type, uh, and sorry, I don't have my book in front of me, I'm kind of doing this all from memory. Is uh, one way to do it is to start asterisk and go straight into the asterisk console. It has its own console of uh, its own commands on how to do things and everything of how to configure it. So once we started asterisk with the dash C switch, C is in Charlie, it send it starts asterisk and has a, a console for us ready. So um, in the console, really, you're going to be able to. Um, we can uh, actually type exit here. Quit, I think, is the command. How do I get out of here? Okay, I just hit Control C. And um, the thing I don't like about uh, asterisk that C that sometimes when you quit out of it, it actually kills the asterisk program altogether from running. Let's see if it's still running. Oh, I just have to do this command. Uh, PS aux uh, lists all the files or all the programs that are running with the pipe uh, this runs a second command on it and it's kind of like a this is going to the grep is a filter and it's filtering for the word asterisk and uh, basically when you run both commands at the same time you can see if asterisk is running so let's hit enter and no it's not so when you type asterisk c once you cancel out of it or kill out of it or quit or exit uh, the asterisk, the whole thing dies. So it's not very effective. You want it to be running even if you close out of it. So type asterisk and it starts up. And we can see if it started up now. Yes, it is running. It's got uh, its own line. So we've got that established. We can go back into the console with the dash R command and. Uh, now we're back into the console and we could go ahead. Really, the only command we're really going to use here, most of all, is reload. And maybe I think core stop now, which uh, closes asterisk from running. If we check if it's running, it's not running anymore. So one more thing, very useful, is verbosity dash r. And we add a few v's, v as in Victor, at the end. And this uh, shows us basically debug information. Uh, because asterisk is not running right now, we can't connect to it with dash R switch. So that's asterisk, and now we can connect. And now we're in front. It shows you verbosity was zero, now it's five. And basically, we could see our SIP clients register live onto asterisk. So it's very useful. So I can uh, cancel out of that now. And uh, basically, that's all I really want to show you there. Uh, what we will do anytime we make a change, we'll have to go into the asterisk terminal and type reload. That's really all I wanted you to get from this video. Alright, so time to do Hello World in the next video.